This reference design is for making an Internet of Things product. It includes everything from schematics to assembly instructions and firmware. Rollout. We share hardware reference designs for robotics so you can make your own hardware. Hi there, welcome to Rollout. I'm Jeremy and today we're rolling out the E20 EZB IOTiny. The IOTiny has eight digital input output ports, two analog to digital ports, one I2C port, one camera port, a power efficient switching power supply, amplified audio output, low battery monitor. It even has a built-in web server and two Wi-Fi modes, AP and client. And it's all in a small form factor, about half a credit card size. Let's hook up the IOTiny to Easy Builder. First, we need power. I'm gonna plug in 7.5 volts here. Load up Easy Builder. Connect via Wi-Fi. Just give that a couple seconds. There, we're connected. First, I'll show you an example of a digital input output port. We're going to hook it up to a servo. So that's D0. An easy builder will go over to project, add controls, and we'll add a servo behavior control. Horizontal servo, that's fine. Go into the settings, make sure that's on port zero. And then we'll right click, bring the minimum to one, and bring the maximum to 180. And then we can just use this to adjust our value of our, for our servo. So that's a D digital PWM signal coming out of D0 to control that servo. Okay. Let's do an example of an analog sensor. I have a potentiometer here. I'm going to plug that into ADC0. Let's bring up a behavior control. Let's do ADC graph. And let's make sure that's on ADC0. Okay, it is. Perfect. Save that. And then when we turn the potentiometer, you can see the voltage change. The values in the lower left there, you can see going up and down. Great. Next, let's hook up an I2C display. So that will go to this port over here. It has a nice locking connector for us. I'll move things around so you can see that better. There we go. So we're gonna add another behavior control under I2C the RGB animator and we'll go into the settings here create a new action we'll just call it hello then we'll have to add a frame there we go and we see the LEDs go out when we add that frame because all this is black right now now we'll select the top and bottom here Let's go red, and you can see it changing in real time as we adjust these sliders. And we'll, uh, we'll save that. It's an example of an I2C display. Next we'll do the camera. It's an EZB camera connected to the camera port here. Can see the RGB LED come on. And then we'll have to <laughs> position this maybe over here towards me. There we go. I don't know if you could see that. Maybe I'll try to wrap it around here. There we go. And so in EC Builder, we're going to add the camera control, camera device. Once it pops up here, we have to hit start. And there we go. We got a real time <laughs> display for the camera. 
And we could do all kinds of different things with that camera with tracking and, the, and whatnot, but this is just an example of hooking it up to the IOTiny. And lastly, we have the audio output. So that's this port right here, plug in the speaker. And we'll have to, again, add a control. We'll go into audio, soundboard EZB, click in this area to load a file. And I have only one file on here. And then you just hit play. Pretty fitting for our episode today. <laughs> a couple more things to note with the IOTiny is that it can take almost any speaker as long as it's rated 0.3 watts or higher. And then just connect to the speaker port there. It also has upward facing pins. And also the IOTiny is a pretty small form factor. It, uh, it's about half the size of a credit card. So here's the EZB IO Tiny schematic. We'll start up here with the switching power supply that provides 3.3 volts to the circuit. Over here we have the breakouts for some of the digital pins. And then the voltage input goes along the, those red pins there and those are the black ground pins. We have our audio amplifier that uh, takes audio from the secondary controller here from the DAC output and then goes to our speaker. We have our ADC pins here, analog to digital conversion pins. And this is 3.3 volts and ground. We have our camera port here and that connects up to our, our Wi-Fi module, which has an ARM controller inside. This uh, programming port is not populated. This is our I2C port for displays and sensors. Our secondary controller also controls the RGB LED, which is down here. Here's some uh, protection for our digital ports. It's a resistor array, 330 ohms. And lastly, we have our Wi-Fi module here. So that does the main processing for the circuit. And it also has the Wi-Fi uh, circuitry on it to connect to a computer. We also have a reset button that connects to it. And here is the voltage monitoring section here. It's a little voltage divider circuit that gives us the voltage of the battery or the voltage input that's in coming into the, the VIN port. And here's the bill of materials. First we have the PCB here. Then we have the EMW3165 Wi-Fi module by MX chip. And here's our secondary controller, which is a 16F1704 PIC microcontroller. We have an audio amplifier chip. Here's our switching power supply chip here. Barrel connector for our voltage input. We have our inductor here, diode, our resistor array, a few more resistors, some capacitors. We have our RGB status LED here. These are our connectors for the camera port and the I2C port. And these are our GVS style connectors for ground voltage and signal and the analog and digital ports. And lastly is the the tactile reset button. Just note that the Wi-Fi module and the PIC microcontroller both need custom firmware and that can be found in our GitHub repository. Let's move on to our assembly notes. So we just show here the way the diodes need to face, make sure cathode and anode are going the right direction, the orientation of our chips, make sure those pin ones are in the right place orientation of our pin headers here and our JST connectors. Trim up some of the solder connections on the bottom and make sure that you have the, the correct inductor. That's important for form factor and for operation as well. So that was the E20 EZB IOTiny reference design. Find the links for the Synthium behavior controls and the GitHub reference design files as well as firmware in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to get notifications for new rollout videos. Over and out. Thank you for watching Rollout. For more information, visit www.synthium.com.